okay, this may be the last video. We'll see if I can wrap it up. We've got the Metroid Other M. Why can't I actually sit here and do this? The Metroid Other M poster from several years ago that I got in Nintendo Power. To the right, we've got the Super Mario characters poster that I got from Club Nintendo several years ago. To the right of that, we've got the new piece of Mega Man artwork that I picked up at Too Many Games 2012. This is the collaboration between Square Painter and Pixel Papa. Square Painter painted the background. Pixel Papa made all of the characters and the, the ground and the projectiles with bead art. This is the Pixel Papa artwork which I picked up at MAGFest, which is the same premise. This one's from Mega Man 2. This is Mega Man 3. Uh, Mega Man using the Shadow Blade to attack Spark Man. This is Mega Man 2. Mega Man using the Leaf Shield to attack Air Man. The difference here is that he didn't need... Pixel Papa didn't need Square Painter to paint the background because it was a solid color. So he did that himself and he created all the beads. So two cool Mega Man things right next to each other. I'm actually hoping to put another one right there. As you can see, that's where the, the Air Man one used to be. And I moved it from there to there so I'd have two Mega Man next to each other. I'm hoping to get more of these from this collaboration between these two guys. That'd be awesome. What you're seeing here, this beast is a new edition that I got in April for my birthday. Um, it is a king size bed. It is a very, very firm bed. Meaning, when you have a bad back like I do, you need a firm bed. And finally, for the first time in my life, I have a bed that's giant and I can, I can sleep in and it helps my back tremendously. The reason I got this bed primarily wasn't because I needed the space, because I need a stronger bed for my back. I need a bigger bed for my back to be able to stretch out and not be cramped. My old bed, my feet used to actually go to the end of the bed and hang off the bed, and because of that, I couldn't get comfortable. This bed is finally big enough for me, being that I am six feet tall. Um, and obviously, it definitely helps from Pandalee visits, you know what I mean? A bigger bed for two people, duh. But primarily, it's an awesome bed simply because it is very firm for my back. Ah! I just got a nice shooting pain up my leg as I did that. Uh, for my back, I need it. So that is my bed. That is the biggest addition, I think, to this room, honestly. And then over here on my top of my dresser, we got a stack of T-shirts that I haven't put away because I'm fucking lazy. We got all stuffed animals that I picked up at Too Many Games 2012. We've got the White Queen statue from Sideshow Collectibles. And right next to it, the White Queen bust from Sideshow Collectibles. I guess I'll get up and show that to you closer up. For those of you who haven't seen it, I don't think I've even shown it in a video. Very smexy, as you can see, with nice titties hanging out. And, of course, that's the old White Queen statue I had. Gee, I wonder if I'm a fan of the White Queen. My dresser, some slippers near the floor there. This is, ah, it's me. Scared the shit out of myself. Uh, my big closet, which is covered in a giant mirror that mirrors, obviously, what's going on. But what I want to look at is just to show you what a mess the inside of my fucking closet is. I'm not going to go all the way because my luggage is actually spilling out. But look at all the boxes I've got from the models. Ethernet cords are hanging, co gaming consoles are up there. It's a fucking hot mess in there. And then on the other side, we've got leftover clothing and props from Project 7, including John Rambo's robe. We've got button-down shirts. We've got a portable, there's my uh, projector. We've got pillows. We've got blankets. We've got more luggage for bigger trips. We've got all kinds of shit in this closet, let's put it that way. So now let's finish this condo tour with the room that people have been requesting. They said, Phil, can we see your disgusting bathroom? And Cole McGrath approves. He says, show them the shit. So here it comes. We've got my sink, my shaver, electric shaver. We've got toothpaste, toothbrushes, Pandalese toothbrushes there too for when she visits. Hand soap, towel. Medicine cabinet, very exciting. We've got my, my hairbrush with combs, tissues. We've got the refills for my automatic sh uh, cleaner, for my uh, shaver, trash bags for the house, obviously all kinds of things in here. Hair gel and all kinds of shit in there. I propyl alcohol, oh yeah, chug that. I got Cool Whip, that's right, I keep Cool Whip in my bathroom. What? We've got deodorant. You I, I dare you to figure out what that is. I don't remember if in a previous video I ever explained what that is. Uh, we've got some Axe Body Spray. We've got both Cottonelle Wipes. We've got soft toilet paper, and we've got shitty toilet paper. So whatever your poison is, you wipe your ass with what you want, okay? This thing dangling off the side is actually a toilet cleaner. Some cleaning things attached to the end, and you scrub out the toilet. Trash can. We've got a scale. We've got bunch of gaming magazines and of course the Hitchhiker's Got Ultimate Guide to the Galaxy for reading materials when you shit. This is the toilet. 
It is the shittiest toilet you can purchase at Home Depot because when they renovated this place right before I bought it, they decided to use some of the cheapest materials ever. So they literally ran to Home Depot, bought the cheapest sink and the cheapest toilet. I definitely, of all the things in this condo, now that I've upgraded my bed, the other thing I would love to upgrade is this toilet because it fucking sucks. It flushes shitty. Every time I take a shit, I have to flush twice. It's a piece of shit and I deserve better. So fuck this toilet. This is my shower. It's very exciting. We've got... Oh, there it is. There it is. My raspberry almond body wash and my pomegranate shampoo. Obviously, that's not mine. That's Pandalese. We've got my Axe stuff. Head and shoulders. We've got automatic shower cleaner. That's what that is. And this is the dual shower head. Because, of course, when I moved in in 2009, I fully anticipated that other ladies would want to shower. Other ladies. I'm not a lady. That ladies would want to shower with me, and they would need their own shower head. If you're a smart man, when you get your own place, you will also get a dual shower head. Trust me. It works every time. And that is it. My towels, bath mat, this is my hamper. That's it for the condo tour. I've shown you everything. The only thing I think I didn't cover was the back porch and the inside of my oven. And to answer your questions, what's in the front closet? Stuff. Hope you enjoyed the condo tour.